Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. We got Kronos, the Belgian Malinois, out here with us today. We're working on developing a heel position with him. And at this stage in training, all we're doing is we're focusing on building up a reinforcement schedule right here next to my left leg, reinforcement history. So all we do is we have rewards present and available along the left side. What this does over time is it develops the habit in him that you get reinforced right here along the left leg. So notice that that time he went a little bit ahead he came back and checked in with where he's normally getting reinforced at so as time goes on this this behavioral habit is going to develop of maintaining a loose leash also maintaining good position in proximity to me all right i'm keeping the food in my hand as i make this wide left turn right here to get him used to to uh turning with me and then i let him have it to get reinforced and so we're just developing this process building upon this process and again, the focus here, we want a loose leash. We want you on our left side. But ideally, we're letting him make the decision to go there. We're letting him make the decision to get reinforced right here on the left side. So this is a technique called free shaping. And uh, basically, we're managing the environment, letting him get reinforced uh, for, for certain behaviors. So notice he's a little bit ahead of me here off to the side. If that prolongs, right, it may be that I'm taking too long with the session. I might also be able to turn and guide him into my left hand on my left side. Okay, see what he does here? Good, see how he checks in, then he pulls away. See, one more time, okay, he did take that one. So if your dog is starting to lose interest in the rewards, your session might be going too long, okay? So use that as a good indicator of your training sessions. Notice he checked in, but he didn't want to come in for the reinforcement. That time he did take the reinforcement. All right, so we're getting close to the tail end of our session. So you need to go off of your dog, your dog's energy, as you do these different types of sessions. Okay, he's following my lure right now. He's good. Again, reinforcement history is going to go to your advantage, especially when you're doing sessions like this. Focus on what you want the dog to do, what your end goal is, and then build up a reinforcement history of being there, rewarding them in place, and fading away from there as you progress with your training. See you all next time.